I'm a love. I intend you guys are doing well. Okay, let's talk about delusion. Delusion, illusion, assumption, and the in-betweens and manifestation. I will probably go all over the place sometimes and my pace may kind of slacken. So just speed this up. Okay, YouTube has options. So speed this up. Whatever. So are you being delusional? Yes, you are. You are being delusional. Now, in this context, I will not get into the technicalities, the technical differences of delusion, illusion, assumption and stuff like that. Okay. So let me just give you a more common sense understanding of why you are, as it is delusional, illusional, if that's a word, and why it is okay to be delusional when you are creating something in better terms, manifesting something in your reality. Okay. So what is delusion and the delusion is you believing something even when the 3D is showing you something else. What is an illusion? You may be having a misperception, a wrong perception of something that you are seeing. And what is an assumption? An assumption is basically something you hold to be true without any evidence at the moment. An assumption is something you believe or hold to be true without any concrete evidence in your current 3D reality. We are constantly assuming things and the biggest illusion, the biggest illusion in my opinion, and you can look it up. You don't need to look it up. You're living it. The biggest illusion is, despite knowing the truth, we assume that we are going to be here forever. We go off to sleep every night assuming that we are going to wake up the next morning. How are you so sure? Isn't that being delusional? Even though we know the truth is that we are all going to die someday. Nothing is permanent. It is always evolving. It's ever changing. Everything is ever changing. And things are constantly in momentum. Nothing is static. Even if we delusionally assume it to be so. So what is the harm in assuming in I, I kind of get it that the word delusion is very, uh, yes, it has a negative connotation. So don't use it. Use the word assumption. What is the harm in assuming, like we are all assuming that we are going to be here forever? What is the harm in assuming that you're going to get your SP? What is the harm in assuming that your SP loves you? What, have, what is the harm in assuming that you're the luckiest person in the world? What is the harm in assuming that you always get what you want? What is the harm in assuming that the law of assumption is real? Because even if you do not assume so, it is real. And you stand testimony to it. How? Reverse engineer your life. Reverse engineer everything. All your fears, your doubts, your thoughts on loop. The ones that you repeated. The ones that were dominant in you. Did they manifest? Yes, they did. Which primarily implies that the law of assumption, which people, some, not you, some say is a delusional way of handling life is absolutely of no premise in my opinion right so what is manifestation essentially in simple terms what is manifestation manifestation is all about focus not effort focus not effort focus so wherever you're primarily focusing if you're focusing on your fears, they'll come true. If you're focusing on your strengths, then you'll know how to kind of maneuver yourself to victory. So we are living in an illusion anyway. We are delusional anyway. We are assuming that we are, we are immortal when we are not. I mean, we are as in we are timeless and we are having a human experience and we are gods in human, in human bodies, right? However, we are not going to be in this body, in this cloak, in this garment forever. Will we be? No. But we are still assuming, right? So how does it matter what people are saying? You stick to your own truth and watch it manifest in your reality. Reverse engineer. Do not take my word for it. Do not take anybody's word for it. Just reverse engineer. Things that you were confidently assuming dominantly actually manifested. Good, bad, ugly. Doesn't matter. Right? There is nothing good or bad out here. It's all about what you are assuming. What you are delusional about. What you are 
assuming to be the reality because nothing i repeat nothing is real and nothing is set in stone nothing i just want to kind of drive this message across that when you watch videos when you consume content on manifestation you have to be yes you have to be discerning enough to understand whether whether and even if that's me just be discerning enough to understand whether the person the coach i'm not saying the person is doing it deliberately but you need to understand that we all have our set of beliefs so you have to be discerning enough to understand whether the person is unknowingly trusting his or her own limiting belief on you on what you are capable of on what you can achieve on how confident you should be about your life your reality and what you can create the biggest delusion illusion assumption is something that every human on this planet is living by right i would like to touch up on something else as well here the illusion of separation okay that's also another biggest illusion in my opinion and you can look it up and i'll explain why because the consciousness is one okay so there cannot be a separation between you and your desire that's precisely why when you assume something about your specific person everybody is a specific person like like you know when you assume something about somebody or some situation that automatically comes true that just comes true when you assume it dominantly it comes true how because the consciousness is one and people pick up on your energy subconsciously and behave as you would expect them to this is one of the most important videos that i'm making probably okay so there is no separation between you and that which you desire that is the biggest illusion that you should be working on when you assume something about somebody and if you repeat it i always believe in repetition repetition i will always believe in it if you repeat it enough it is going to come true in your reality it has to do it with some intensity be intense as neville puts it never lukewarm be intense about what you are intending and watch it manifest forget about what people are saying forget about even what i am saying about illusion delusion assumption think about what you are assuming be aware of what you are assuming what are you assuming to be your truth about the truth of your life about your existence who are you what do you want why do you think you can have it and why do you believe that you might not have it write them down as always write them down make a note of them everything everything is an illusion that's precisely why you can change it you can modify it you can manipulate it you can mold it i don't i really don't really have much to say when people get triggered with the word manipulation you are manipulating reality anyway through your thoughts whether you understand it whether you're not doing it consciously or unconsciously you're doing it so the the game becomes a lot more easier when you understand that there is no separation and that is the illusion that you you should focus on that there is no separation between you and that which you desire you and that which you choose to create in your reality your sp is not separate from you please go back and watch my video on non duality there is no separation the biggest illusion is there is separation there is actually no separation because the consciousness is one reverse engineer you will know people are behaving and treating you the way you want and you expect rather expect to be treated even if you have not i mean uttered a word to them how how because there is no separation because the consciousness is one i'm repeating myself but you got to understand this this is going to make the game a lot more easier for you people will do things based on what you are assuming them to do assuming they will do right so stop getting into the concepts stop getting into the nitty gritty stop getting into so much paranoia around are you being delusional am i being delusional no just decide decide conscious manifestation is a decision to focus on that which you want let me repeat this as always i love to conscious manifestation is a decision to focus on that which you want till you see it manifested in your reality 
live by it, live by it and see how it pans up in your reality. Thank me later. Cool. I intend that was helpful because um, I know that you, some of you guys were waiting for this video. So if you're delusional, so what? If you're illusional, so what? If you're assuming something which you have no evidence of, so what? An assumption. Now, I'll end with Neville. An assumption, though false, if persisted in, will harden itself into a fact. Be mindful about what you're assuming and fine-tune them and see what happens. Let the magic unfold. Love you guys. Happy manifesting. I'll see you soon.